Thomas was a cube. Wow, a weird shape to be. His adventures up to this point had been remarkably two-dimensional. No, not narratively, obviously. His story had been nuanced and witty. That had been mentioned in the reviews. A lot. As good as VVVVVV and Manic Minor, IndieGames.com had said. Thomas didn't know why he felt the need to think that. But now he seemed to have depth. He was ambiently occluded. He was made of polygons. And his inner monologue seemed distinctly less Danny Wallacey. Less professional. Hell, it sounded like it had been recorded on a MacBook 30 minutes previously. He had been resurrected in a strange new HD world. Had everyone heard the word resurrected? He hoped they had, as that was sort of the theme. Thomas imagined this world had been made by someone far cleverer than his previous environment. Probably someone with better hair. He was alone. Which was odd, because that was an ironic title. Better hair, but incapable of getting more than one character in a scene, eh? Thomas could also inexplicably drop light sources. That was a bit of a step up since those flat shadow planes he was used to seeing around him. He felt those lights accentuated his 1024 by 1024 texture map to a startlingly high quality. Thomas felt like he was being watched again. Not by a pixel cloud, by something far worse. He felt like he was being watched by a room full of wizened players, explorers of worlds, collectors of mushrooms and coins. The kind of people who would go to www.thomaswasalone.com. He seemed to be blooming. It looked like the early 2000s in this world. Honestly, he had the impression this place had been created by a bit of a show-off. He imagined the smart, beautifully floppy-haired coder would get on well with John. Thomas was moving pretty fast. He hoped he wouldn't run headfirst into a wall. He presumed collision had been added to the walls. He wasn't going to run into them or anything. People were watching. People who would no doubt be unimpressed by a poorly considered collision model. The lights died, and Thomas was alone. <laughs> <laughs>